Okay, every possible way that you can light a light bulb. Let's do it. Can you see that okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go everything that you could see. This, a lot of times they give you a battery, a bulb, and some wires. And so they say light the, light the light bulb. Okay, so the first way is to, the key here is that there are two parts of this light bulb. There's the nub part over here and the side part. And so you need to connect one end to each side of the battery. You need this on one side of the battery and that on the other side. Now, uh, let me show you why. Essentially, the light bulb works like this. If I connect a wire from this end to that end, just like that, don't do this because it gets hot, okay? It will get hot. Now, in the light bulb case, it gets so hot it glows. Let me show you. This is an actual light bulb, an incandescent light bulb. I broke it apart. Okay, there's no glass. And so you see this little squiggly part right there? That's the filament. That's the part that gets really, really hot and glows. Now, these two filament support posts, this one goes down, it goes down into the glass, and you can see that little wire right there. That's the same wire. This wire connects to this side of the of the bulb. This other post goes down here to this. So, and then that's an insulator separating them. So to connect it to the side and to the tip, then you're connecting it to both ends of this wire to get it hot. The glass is around there just to prevent the air from getting into the filament, which would cause it to burn and it burn out. Okay, so let's light this light bulb. So the first, the easiest way to do this is to, I like to hold the bulb like that. So now I don't have to have a wire. This side of the bulb is touching that part of the battery. Now I can just grab a wire and touch this end to, oh crap, I dropped it. Okay. It is hard to do with one hand. There. So see, I'm, I'm having the wire go from this end to that end and touching that side. Okay, now <clears throat> if you want to do it with Two wires, I can't do it um, with my hands very well, but you would hold one wire right there, one wire right there, and then I'd touch, maybe I can't do it. I'm gonna touch one wire to the bottom nub and one to the side. I did it, okay. Now, and there's a couple other ways. You could, you could put the side down there, you could put the tip there and touch it to the side, you could put the tip here. Any combination would work. Let me get my bowl. Now, you're, you may have a situation that looks a little bit different. They may give you a battery holder. This is really nice because you can put the battery in here, like that. Make sure that there's no space in between that nub and that end over there. So this metal piece and that metal piece are connected to that side, and this metal piece is connected to that side. So I can connect wires to here, and it's the same as connecting it there, there and there. Okay. So if I do that, I have here, this is a typical wire that you might use. Oh, I should say, you may have a wire like this. This is an insulated wire and it actually is not copper on the inside, but it doesn't matter. This works the same way, but you have to make sure that you don't touch the rubber to the battery because that won't make a connection. So if I touch, do the same thing. Let's see if I can do it with two wires. So I'm going to hold one wire down here, one wire right there, and then I'm going to touch, it's going to be kind of hard, but if I touch the two, one wire to the side and one to there, it would light up. Okay, so that works the same way. You just can't use the middle part because it's insulated. This is another kind of wire. This is an alligator clip wire. It's got little clips in there. So you can clip it on things. It looks like an alligator, you see? Rawr. Get it? Alligator wire. Okay. So if I have this, put my battery back in, I can clip this wire right there. And now I can touch, I could touch this. Let's see if I can do this this way. Touch this right there. And then touch this to the side, to the bottom. Lights up. Okay. And then I could use two wires. The colors don't mean anything. 
the colors are just to help you keep them separated if you have a whole bunch. So I'm going to uh, use a black and a, a red, but it doesn't matter. And now I can hold one on the side and hold, oops, hold this one down at the bottom. Okay, now uh, there's a third kind of wire. This is a banana plug wire. See, I, I guess it looks like a banana. I don't know. Uh, in this case, there's no easy way to attach this to that particular thing, so I wouldn't use those. But you could. You could hold it. Again, the rubber part doesn't do anything. You can't connect to the rubber part, just the metal in the end. Okay, another option. Yes, I'm going over all the options. You may have this. This is a light bulb holder. So this, all this does is it has two pieces of metal. This one attaches to the side of the bulb and this one to the bottom. So when I screw this in, and you wanna make sure that you screw it in so that the nub touches that metal on the bottom. So now I can connect one wire to here and one wire to there. So I'm gonna use my alligator clips again. And I'm gonna connect this wire right here. I'm going to connect, oh you can't see, this wire to the other end of the battery, this end right here, and it didn't turn on. That's really weird. Did I break that bulb? Hmm. Now we get to do troubleshooting. So I'm checking to make sure it's touching on both ends. Um, hmm. Okay, so what we do to troubleshoot, I did this on purpose maybe, is to remove an element and see if we can get it to work. What if I don't use that? What if I just touch the side and the tip? It's not working. Okay, now I'm gonna try a different light bulb. Here's a different light bulb, side, tip. Okay, that is, so I, I, have, a broken, I have a broken bulb. If you look in this closely, you might be able to see the filament's broken, but this is there's a problem with that bulb. So I'll put this back in here. Connect up my stuff. There. It's on. Can you see that? It's on. Okay. Next method. You might have a different. Let me. While I'm at it, you may have two light uh, batteries. I can take a second battery holder with a second battery and put it in here. And the nice thing about these battery holders is that they clip together like this. Now I want to make sure that I have the positive end going to the negative end of that and then this just slides together. And you want to make sure these metal pieces make contact. This should, yeah. Now. I'm going to use this, and this is the end of my battery. And notice how much brighter the bulb is. Okay, one more thing while I have this set up. Uh, sometimes you may have a switch. So this will allow you to turn the light on and off. So what I want to do is essentially have an extra wire. I'm going to connect this wire to this side of the switch, and then a wire from this side to the battery. So I do need another wire. I can connect it to here or there. Those are the same things. Now when I push this down, it makes a contact and this wire is essentially connecting to there. And I can turn it on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. Okay. One more battery holder. So you may have something that looks like this. This is a battery holder. So you put your battery in here and then you have these two pieces that just stick down the side. You need to make sure that they are jammed in in such a way that they both make contact with the battery. Okay. Now I can hook this right here, this right here, and again the battery turns on, the light turns on. Um, these actually do work, both of these work with the banana clips, I think. How do you do that? I thought this, 
So this actually, you can stick a wire in there. And like it should, it should push it, but I don't remember. Maybe the banana clip that's in there. The banana wire. No. Well, I thought the banana fit in there. They do fit uh, here. No, it's the same thing. These, if you push down, this one's kind of bent out of shape. But there is a way to connect. You can stick that in there, but the banana clips don't really work well. Um, let's see. Let me show you one other cool trick that I like for a battery. So there's my bolt battery. And here I have two wires. Okay. Now, I'm going to connect these beforehand. If that little plastic piece comes off, it's not a big deal. I want to connect that there, but it doesn't hold. And I want to connect this right there, but again, it doesn't stay. So here I have a trick. This. You can get these tiny neodymium magnets. They're very strong magnets, and they conduct electricity. So if I put this right there, stick it on the end of the magnet, and then I stick this one on the end of the magnet, these stick. Boom. What do you think about that? Okay, so I think I covered all the variations of lighting a light bulb with one battery and with two batteries. I hope that's useful.